plus two to start. And let's see what United have for this T-Pistol round. Smuya, he's just waiting and watching over on short. Can now fall away, crouching on through and steal. Oh, that flashback is going to be nasty. Marky also drops and Cooper. Well, there's the refrag. Cam comes in with one in the meantime. I'm right here. With one minute 20 left, these T's just have to hold back and passive. Uh, Rex says, Orglis game later. I'm thinking so at this point. I think that that Orglis game probably looks like the better one out of the two. I think that's going to be really interesting. So, and sick. I think he thinks he's being sneaky at this angle, but it doesn't really seem like Chaos know it. He needs both of these kills. And Vanity does shut him away. So, 1-0 to Chaos. Nicely composing themselves there. No crazy pushes from any of their members. Sometimes gets a little bit frisky, but... Nevertheless, still 1-0. Exactly what you want to see from them coming into this first map. Some nice contentious stuff. It's one of the most exciting ones you're bound to see, considering there's a spot in those qualifiers up for grabs. Spot it land. Obviously a big matchup for all of these teams. And Vanity Smooth up. I'm going to completely mow away that short area. There's another one. And now six versus four. He's just not going to get the job done. Reconverting. With that SMG, and yeah, Ben's able to just finish it off there. Yeah, you can't just step out into the middle of the map and yeah, expect to get away with it. But Smooth is here as well to punish. Almost three quick kills. Ben doing the damage as well. Almost taking Cooper clean away. And now it's down to the Deagle. 5-7. Oh, my lord. What a one dig. There's Vanity trying to single-handedly close this one off. There's also the dual Brettas coming in from the rear. I think they can salvage a lot of these rifles as Cam's going to go through and try and isolate Cooper. And he will find it. Chaos. How does this one even fall apart? The AWP retrieved. And it's 3-3. Three to three. That was almost zero investment there in the sixth. And Ben, he's going to be challenged here. But oh, there's an AWP. And now he united with the Molotovs on in. Ben, he's just going to stand within it and sick. Oh, he takes his head off. Nice little accurate shot. He had the wider angle there. So I need to throw further Molotovs on down. Remember that Chaos, they still have this double AWP setup. Vanity in the open gets taken away and Smooth, you're on the site. Let's see how food can potentially take care of him. There's a creek here to try and close the distance, but no smokes for this cross. Just a pair of Molotovs, and that is off and not good enough. They really needed this utility. They also had it in hand earlier, and there's just Smeal and Smoolia. As easy as it gets. 50 seconds. Clock ticking away, and it will be long control once again. This time, Ben, not within pit, and it's Smoolia to find the first. Ben should be baited into these peaks and right around this corner. He does find the first, and that is very worthwhile picks. It's smooth, yeah. That is third of the round. The last player coming from short is going to get cleaned up by Vanity. Two of E United's best maps. They've let them through first and second. So apart from Mirage, which is another one that E United really know how to play, Overpass and Dust 2 are both really decent affairs for them. And oh, smooth, yeah. It's even a collapse. And the fourth, he is just hitting his stride here on this CT half. And you know how confidence really works for this man. And now he United needs something. They've got four AK-47s in the creek and steal instantly. How does he do this? That was towards the middle of the map. And with no sniper rifle, how are they peaking those angles? The snipers, they're brutal right now. And Smooth's just going to go through for another one. What's he doing? Another frag. Here's Ben to finish it off. And Chaos... They're causing chaos all over this map, and I don't even mean that as a joke. Steel just stepping out on a mid, that's not what you'd expect to see from a CT AWPer. They're usually just playing a little more passively towards the left, the right side of those double doors, waiting for somebody to get aggressive. And Smooya jumping through the long smoke. I was talking about confidence before, but he is so far ahead of the pack. There goes the Molotov back and you know, the jump boost. It does get spotted by Ben. So he now knows that there are two players towards his side of things. He'll just toss the nade on down. Unlucky to not do any damage in that scenario. United, very good chance that they could have been sat right within that choke point. And there go the smokes away once again. 
It's only cam towards this B bomb site. So if he gets flustered, there's a chance that this could also go a United's way. They've been pulling back a couple of these scenarios in. Well, there's Smear again. He spots out the bomb, gets the kill. And these AWPs are just brutal. Both Steel and Smuya, And that's another one. That's a gorgeous shot. Absolutely disgusting. A two versus four now. As they need to take Smuya away. That flashbang baits him off the angle for a second. But as the C4 goes down and through, Sick can reposition. He's got the AWP just watching on to long. And he knows that Smuya's got the wider angle. And as the AWP connects, he's got to... And be scared right now. Smuya's already spotted him. There's the jump peak. Sick needs to take absolutely everything. And there is the first. But they're coming from all angles. And that's exactly the way to play a 4v1 retake. There goes. 8-6. Ben and Smuya. Coming in with that damage. That made isn't going to decrease the pressure for Reunited. As they still have to contend with Smuya's angle. He's watching this once again and just challenging him seems like suicide right now. They're just trying to duck Bob away from him. They don't want to give him an inch to work with him. Out in the open, there's another one. I think that maybe he assumed that Samuel wasn't going to peek out that far, but it's a 21 kill half. It's very similar scenes for both teams. It's United and you need a couple. Uh, Steel is there to drop and Samuel does pick up the pieces. So, Freak retrieved, and they'll try and take these further angles. Freak Soy back on the bottom side, and Smuya finishes him. What a beautiful shot. There's the follow-up. Six last alive, and Smuya, what a shot. That is quite the round. Four kills for him. He's up to 25 and 9. I was watching from the CT perspective thinking, no way that Smuya finds more than one. But it's body shot, body shot, headshot to finish. 10 to 7. Chaos, again, long control. They've got another dark as well. Steel's leading the charge that side. He'll probably be pressuring on to mid to try and deal with the rotates and the saves. Whilst Chaos, the bulk of their offensive is going to go through these longer angles onto the A-bomb site. Smuya just covering the guardian angel of this T-side with the AWP in hand. And Steel's just mopping and cleaning them away. Six next in line for a... Bit of a lesson. A steal. He's already found three. And this round's already over. Chaos, they're going to be 11 to 7 after this. No opportunity for any sort of a retake. This bomb can go down and away. It's on the back of Smuya, so they will be going for a bit of a hunt. And damn, it's just a great angle to eliminate Mark. There's only Cooper remaining, and he's 4 HP from that initial duel at the start of the round. Smuya's probably calling it right now. He's low, he's low, he's low. Low, 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 he's low. Cooper, he's low. He's got a scout and he's low. There you go, that, that's the chaos communication right now. That's what Smooth is saying. The back of this site. Pause. It's almost happening already. I'm sure that they're talking about the next. That was Smooth, yeah. That was, that was my Smooth impression. That wasn't an American accent. So 40 seconds left on the board. And... Vanity, he is, well, holding down that angle from below. 30 seconds left, and Chaos. This is once again another opening onto this A bomb site. They've only got 25 seconds to plant that bomb, so Steel's got to tap the digits in right here, right now. And oh, Vanity from the rear. It's Freaksoid being challenged from all angles. He really needs to get away, and, well, there's another headshot. If he finds all three, that's incredible. But he's now got Smuya, the big boss to take care of. And on 8 HP, he's going to take the peak on through. And he's just not quick enough for the angle. Instead, it's Smuya to finish him off. 13 to 8. And pretty easily done. Clout, I've got to say, this isn't going to be a 12-hour stream. This is going to be way longer. We're 8 hours in right now. And we've still got three best of threes to go. This is the first of, of three North American games. So... We need a couple of subs in the next 1 minute 30 to get that bigger skin on the board. It's an AWP fever dream if we get to level 2. So make sure to get all of that in. And that was an ace from Steel. Just an anti-eco, so nothing all too too crazy. Well, with the smoke down in a way, it's going to be that C4 going down. And now the pressure is applied from 
all sides. Vanity. He's going to be taking this middle of the map position. Sick. I don't know if he'll spot him over in this corner. He is staying silent right now. And there are two kills. Food over by short does apply some pressure. But Ben is finding all of the shots. And there is another one. Food over by short. He's the last bastion of attack. As Marky's just so low on HP. And Chaos. They're up to 15. A chance. A chance to finish here, Chaos. This Dust 2 matchup has been very one-sided. No need to fear if you're any United fan. It's their matchup coming next. It's their map coming second. But this Dust 2 performance, it's been smooth. You're absolutely going off. Let's get rid of that mini-map because Sick about to take this shot in. Flashed away from the angle. Smear actually misses it. It's the scout instead to chip through. And, well, that SG. It's so brutal. Steel, he's doing the damage and just piping those shots in. Freaksoy just 35 HP. And the Molotov's going to force him through. There are the kills. Just Cooper and Marky left to do the damage. And I don't think it's good enough. Up towards the top of mid. Marky, he'll be caught in the firefight. And it's just Marky versus three. He even gets spotted. He's down into this lower dark area. And this is uh, pretty much all falling apart. Marky versus three. And the Molotovs. There's also a smoke where that came from. Steel just watching the angle. He might as well just throw the smoke and end this game. There's a flashbang. There's the follow-up. It's Ben to finish. And it's 16 to 8 here for Chaos. There's no set of Kevlar, so he'll probably make this push in soon. If you have Smear from the rear. That one Galil does drop, but Vanity, I'm sure he was expecting to go for the investment. It's, yeah, Smear's going to try and finish this one off. We can find this kill early. That's so much kill bonus for him. Three quick frags. That's 1,800 extra dollars in his pockets. And now let's see what advantage Smoothie can carry through into this round. It's going to be the boost. Of course, this is for heaven. This is what Chaos have really been going for all week. And the jump peak. Oh, he gets picked. Freaksoid was not expecting that one. He's looking down towards water in Smoothie. He's just up in the air like a god. They used to call it Olaf Pass. Maybe we'll have to think of a different name. You can see right into that B-bomb site. The jump peak, the heaven position. They can all be spotted. That's a boost that takes all five players. So on the CT side, it's... Yeah, those sort of boosts aren't as effective. You need to be covering both bomb sites. It's T. It really does work out. So with a minute left, Chaos, they've got a man up. And they'll be going towards this B-bomb site. Two quick kills for them. And now we United. They've got a paddle from behind. I don't know how they're going to be able to pull this one away. Cooper's stuck on long. He's pretty much got the longest rotate you could possibly ever have on overpass. He is stuck all out of the action. And, well, there's Smuya. Actually, four sick into the peak. Didn't find the kill. That would have been three ahead. And he is stuck here right now. There's still 30 seconds on the board. So, Chaos definitely looking to... Try and find another pick before they go inside. And Smear right behind that smoke. He might even have to push this one. He's got that open hand. And with the M4s being held on this B-bomb site food, he's going to be just looking to chip inside. And yeah, Vanity does drop. They've got the double defense here. And with only eight seconds left, they've almost timed themselves out and away. That bomb will go down last possible second. And Cooper, there's no way to delay this one. That was such a, a Na'vi style push being literally with one second on the board before that C4 goes down. That's it going down. So him and Food, they've fallen and there just shouldn't be an opportunity to come back here. Remember, this giveaway ends when one of these team hit five rounds. We're giving out that Deagle Naga. If you want our next giveaway to be even bigger, get your subscribing right now. Marky, he does hit another shot. He's trying to delay this skin from going to one of you lovely people. But Chaos on towards this A bomb site. It's last couple of seconds once again. It's that Molotov pops, but it's out of bounds. And Smoothie again. There's another opening. They can't prevent the C4 from going away. And now Cooper, it's a one versus three. He's doing his best to tap in the bullets, but it's just not going to happen. It's five to one. Let's get another one going, Mods. Right now it's Chaos. They're opening towards the A site once again. And well, there goes the nade to just force Chaos back and away. But 
with the smokes down and through. It's just 35 seconds left on the board. And Cooper's coming in for this flank. He's one of two orbs. As the second tries to rotate, it's Freaksoy to try and hold up the defense. Usually known as more famous on his T side. And he does get taken away by Smuya. He's just so quick with that AWP. Ben's already on the site to try and defend. And there goes the spray on through. And he can actually defend Cam here. Oh, he doesn't. So two quick kills is Marky. Trying to do all the damage. But reloads at the wrong time. And it's 2-6. Followed up and through. Sick here towards the bank position. And he is close to these boxes. If he goes for any peak, there's a chance for Smuya to just rip his face off. And Cam up close. Smuya just not finding him. And what a flick. That's another one. He's only got five seconds left on the board. And with Marky a million miles away... Smuya's not going to be able to find this plant, and it will be round over. But that was three quick kills. He's still got the Kevlar and the AWP in play, and 17 kills. It was 21 frags at the first half of Dust, and he might be able to put together an even stronger performance here. The issue is, well, no issues for Smuya, but the money is looking okay for United. If they can carry on winning rounds, they can carry on with full buys. But losing this, and they're not going to have a lot of money whatsoever. Freaksoy trying to punch it back. Two quick kills. Sick dies the other side of things. And that's pretty much the round gone the way of Chaos. Freaksoy might as well save here. He's being chased away by Steel, who is still watching for these flanks. He knows that there's an orc dropped in. Freaksoy falls as well. If I was sick, I'd probably be rotating back to A, but obviously we can see this game from an observer's perspective. He does not know that this push is coming through in chaos, but carries to be close, and it's all down to these rifles. It's steel this time. Does spot the third defender, and food then to drop. Ben cleans up the flank. This is going to be 9-6 to six for Chaos. As Marky, he's about to also fall the same fate. He gets spotted and fragged. It's 9-6. to six. As we'll go to a quick break before the second pistol. With 1 minute 35 on the board, this USPS looking through from long range. Vanity could have definitely eaten that grenade at a time, but over from the middle of the map, it's E United just congregating for the push towards the A bomb site, and Chaos absolutely know it. They've gone for an aggressive stance towards B. They're looking into connector. And with Smuya getting aggro, he instantly gets taken down. That's a big scalp to find as Vanity followed back towards this A bomb site. He's found one in the meantime, but he has to hold up the push for as long as possible. Finally, a little bit of support from Steel as he's got the bomb on his back. But over through this smoke, he's taken down to 17. And those Glock shots were precariously close. The flank funneling through. And Cam, oh, can't he tap away another one? Steel does drop, and it's all down to this final young gun. He can't actually find Freakzoid there on that cross, but food falls. And now it's him versus Freak. There's a kit down on the A site, and he is going to go for it. Try and pick that one up and through. It's Freakzoid. He is not going for any sort of a peek right now. He is wrapping right underneath, and he is actually too far to contend for this defuse. So, with that being defused, let's see Freakzoid. Oh, he's going to jump right on Cam. He's being tapped away. He might actually get it. He does, Freakzoid. That's a massive blunder. You hate to see it, and it is chaos up to 10. That is just as bad as it gets in kind of strike. Those are those monitor-punching, heart-wrenching, mouse-crushing moments. They post through a little bit of B site damage. And there comes the rotate from Steel. They'll have a triple defense here, but from the oh, next position, Vanity. That is not the way you peek those single doors. He was looking away into the water position. And now Smuya back up. Instant headshots. He loses a little bit of damage in that one. And here comes the boost. Cam almost catches out them both. And it's massive damage. He's done his job. Can now fall away. Great work from. Him and Cam. And there goes the spray on. That was the last bullet kill from Steel. Almost looks too good to be true. And with 45 seconds left, the Krieg, the Skites, they both need to push into this B bomb site. Cooper, he might have the flank, but Steel's going to be able to find him. The Glock just not good enough to hold up the damage. And now it's sick versus four of them. It's low HP for a bunch, but he might just fall away. Sick. He gets aggro, and Smuya's close to this corner. 
He does find the first, and he's just going to jump aggressively. This final pistol does just about fall. It's the pistol to secure it. USPS and Smuya just stood out in the open. He's in scrim mode right now, and that's a flawless round for Chaos. There is no chance here for E United. They're given a bit of a break to just ponder that decision before. There goes the spray away onto the first. And E United, there come a couple of kills here. So is able to trade it up. And he is still posted aggressively. There's no real reason to go for this. And Cam, there's another pair of shots over by the B bomb site. Both these players are low. And where's the flashbang? Ben has it in hand. You can see that lighted up. And Freak Soik is going to push right into it. It's another headshot for Cam. Ben is still on this site. And he does get wrapped around by Sick. But even if Cam drops, they're watching the bomb. And Smoothie is still here. Better get that gun out as it's a Molotov right over the top onto that B-bomb site. Sick. He's going to try and circumnavigate the defense. But Smoothie is right here. He knows it. There's the cross find. It's 13 to 6 on the board. So that is going to be the approach. Smoothie is still with the AWP. We've been talking about him since the start. He's just playing to the back of playground. And Cooper, he drops. There's the opener. So we are now going to fall back to the safety of the bathrooms area. Flushing Cooper away from that playground area. And with 1 minute 30 on the board, E United now need to play from behind without their prized precious orb in play. And the pistols become way more dangerous against lesser numbers. You can usually overwhelm the Deagles and 5-7s, but if you're squandering those early kills... There's a chance that Smuya might single-handedly be able to do this. He's on 28 kills, and he swats out this second. There's another headshot. Freakazoid hits the deck, and Chaos just three kills away from that 15th round as the defense is posted towards both sides of this map, and Smuya one away from 30 frags on overpass. M4 aggresses nicely. They've actually got a boost towards this A-bomb site. Steel's just tucked away inside this corner to hide away. And with 35 seconds remaining, the M4 is playing up close and personal on the A-bomb site. He was inside the smoke, I think. Yes, Vanity. He's staying hidden and silent. And Smoothie finding all of the kills. And Vanity's right in behind. They have no idea that he's here. Smoothie, it's a quad kill to finish. What was that final shot? So fast and swift against Sick. And 15-11, he's going to be celebrating. It's going to be another buy round for Chaos. That was just pistols towards the B-bomb site. And Chaos, they're one round away from this global qualifier. At times, it didn't even feel like they were going to get an invite. It didn't even feel like they were going to be allowed to even play in this qualifier. But they got the invite. And they might be about to burst through this upper bracket and be the first North American team in. We're about to find out. Smooye with the AWP. We've got three M4A4s and Chaos just one round away. It's a standard play from E United, playing incredibly quietly towards the A bomb site, making a lot of noise. Thunder towards that B site and looking towards sewers once again. This is a brutal crossfire for Chaos. They've now boosted Bairn up upon the sandbags. He's now looking into the sewers angle. Can look right into connector. This is one that often you won't be spotting out first. So food. Oh, he hits the headshot nonetheless. And connector smoked means that over on the B-bomb site, this double defense has to hold up. Otherwise, Chaos, they're going to be forced back onto a really dodgy buy in the next. Vanity, he finds one. It gets traded through. Smoothie once again. That AWP is present, prevalent. And there's another smoke down. He's going to sit in these clouds. Just waiting for anything. Waiting. And that's quite the boost here. He doesn't quite spot out sick. And as Steel finds another one, him and Freakazoid, they're at opposite ends of this server here. 30 seconds. A lot of time remaining. And E United, they need to get back to this C4. Steel's got it all but covered. He's right behind these barrels. There's Smoother and Steel to finish it. They're going to the global closed finals. That is unbelievable. They booked their tickets over to LA.